Hey, I'm Dr. Scout with LGBT HealthLink. We are a project of Centerlink. And every week we go through all of the research articles that are out there in the news to bring you the top stories in LGBTQ health. So let's get right to it and find out what the stop, top stories are for the week of May 23rd, 2015. First up, echoing a Canadian study we reported on last year, a new study shows New York State queer teens are also at higher risk for pregnancy. Only 13% of straight girls became pregnant versus 23% of lesbian and bi-identified girls. Only 10% of straight boys were involved in a pregnancy versus 29% of gay or bi-identified boys and 38% of boys who regularly had male and female partners. A researcher from the Canadian study had a really interesting take on why this might be, quote, it may be that pregnancy involvement is a way to camouflage your sexual orientation to avoid or reduce your experiences of homophobic bullying. Next up, some scientists completed a review of studies about HPV, dysplasia, and anal cancer among black versus white queer men to see if there's any difference by race. No surprise, there was. Black men had higher rates for all three conditions. The authors also noted that most of the studies in the review didn't even look at it. So we obviously need better research. We cannot fix problems we can't even see. Our next story, too many gay and bi men are not talking with their doctors about HIV. So Greater Than AIDS has launched a new YouTube series, we love YouTube series, called Ask the HIV Doc to Answer Viewer Submitted Questions. It's especially cool to see one of our old friends, Dr. David Malbranch, star in this series. Send your Twitter questions to at Greater Than AIDS with the hashtag Ask the HIV Doc to get them answered. As many as one in five same-sex relationships include intimate partner violence, and as many as one in two trans people experience violence in their relationships. New research looked at what stops us from getting help and found three major barriers. One, stigma and discrimination. Two, support services not supporting us. And three, lack of research on domestic violence in our communities. If you or someone you know needs help, call the Queer Friendly National Domestic Hotline, Violence Hotline at one 800 799 Seven two three three. You know we always like to end on a good note. Well, there's a new study on relationships between patients and healthcare providers. They found that young queer men who had good interactions with their healthcare provider were more likely to get HIV and STI tests. We love, love, love this news. One more fact backing up what we say all the time: queer-friendly healthcare really does lead to better health. That's it. That is all the news you need to know about our community's health for this week. Please catch us here next week, same time, same place, so you can make sure not to miss out on anything that's happening related to health in our communities.